Hello, what is going on everybody? My name is John Hammond and welcome back to another YouTube video of mine. And in this video and in the next couple, I'm going to try and get into the Leviathan War Game on uh, Over the Wire, an online war gaming uh, website. So we just finished up Bandit in a previous series, so now I want to move into Leviathan. It's kind of at least seemingly the next, or quote unquote, one of the suggested next games to play. Um, there's a little bit of a description as to what the game is. Not terribly difficult on the rating scale. Um, doesn't require any knowledge of programming, just a little bit of common sense and some knowledge about basic Unix commands. Some of these are kind of clever, and you may not have been used to that syntax or seen them before, so that's why, why I wanted to showcase them. Um, and you'll see in the web interface that all of the levels, level 1 all the way through level 7 here, or level 6, I guess, I don't know, um, they don't have any information. So we're probably just going to be only in the terminal the entire time. No real need to have this web browser. So I'm going to hop over to the terminal, and you can see that I have uh, changed my theme a little bit just to <laughs> hopefully attract some, I don't know, maybe some others that might see these uh, blue and green, uh, not not blue, what the heck, black and green hacker stuff uh, in, in the thumbnail, um, and I don't know, maybe get some more viewers that way, I don't know, just low-hanging fruit to get the script kitties. <laughs> so, uh, let's make a connection to the war game. Leviathan, It's uh, it says here in the description of the, of the war game, the username is Leviathan0, as usual, same with how it was for Bandit0, and the password is Leviathan0 for just this first uh, level. Make sure we use that as our username and the hostname. Uh, remember, we're using the new port is 2223 for this war game, for Leviathan. And once we can make a connection, it will want to ask for the password. Let's start to use that... Um, SSH pass setup that we had before. So I'll create a file for this user and put the password in there. And I actually learned from a comment in the last series for Bandit that the command substitution in Bash is normally, I had learned it through backticks, however, that's really old and it's pretty much deprecated. So the more common style that has superseded is to use a dollar sign like you would for kind of variables, but replace um, or surround your command in single in a parentheses. So that will do the same thing and it's at least more proper or at least more common these days. So I'm just gonna copy paste that whole command because I'm lazy. And now we are connected, eventually. Okay, cool. So you can see the logo here over the wire, and we are in. So let's see what we got. Nothing by default in the home directory. Um, so let's list out all things. Backup is a different looking directory that we aren't usually seeing before. It's hidden because of that period there. So there's a bookmarks.html in here. Let's just see what that is. And it's a lot of HTML. Holy crap, super gross stuff. Um, Knowing that we want to have a password, let's just try and grep for password in this. And we get a hit. Okay, cool. Looks like password for Leviathan 1 is this thing. Okay. <laughs> kind of a, a cheap hack, whatever, but that got us a password. Let's put this in our Leviathan 1 file. And now let's modify our connection line to move to Leviathan 1. So all we did for that one was just find the file. It was hidden hidden directory, um, and then grep through it for just the string password, because that we know that's all we wanted to find was the password for the next level. That's how these war games work. So now we're in Leviathan 1, and what is this thing? Check password. What? Wrong password. Goodbye. All right, so it's probably asking for a kind of string in what this password may be, so I'm going to run strings on it, on that file, on that binary, to see what else might be in here, right? What other plain text and readable strings might be present in the binary. Uh, there's the prompt, there's probably the shell command that will execute once we get it correct, and it doesn't look like it's doing anything else or anything that we can really see in here. So let's look at some other tools. Um, Ltrace is a good one for simple command line um, binary like reconnaissance. Uh, I need the dot in the forward slash here to actually run the binary because Ltrace will follow along with it. So it looks like it's going to run printf and then the get character for our input. So hello, I enter. And we can see that, okay, it runs get character a couple times 
and then string compare, str compare, hell, so the first three letters of, I guess, what I entered, and then the word sex. Okay, I suppose that is the password, so let's try and run it with that input, and we get a dollar sign, we get a bash, prompt, well, not so much bash, maybe just a regular shell, as we saw in the string up there, just bin sh. So, who am I? I'm Leviathan2 now. Cool, that means I can cat out the password for the next level that I want, Leviathan2. And this uh, directory here, etc., Leviathan pass, is just noted in the um, noted in the prompt that, okay, you can look in the etc., Leviathan pass folder for the various password levels. So, okay, that is the token to get us to the next level. Let's break out of this put this in a Leviathan2 file so we can save it for later. And now we can move into Leviathan2 for the next war game. Cool. All right. Uh, that's all for now. I just want to get you guys your feet wet with the game and get us set up. So I'll see you in the next video when we tackle the next level of Leviathan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. And uh, please, maybe if you want to, like, comment, subscribe. Do what you got to do. <laughs> all right. See you later.